All right, guys, so I'm going to show you a really easy way to make these fun wavy lettering pieces with real playful um, letters. You can use any type of letters that you want, but still maintain this guide. And it's really simple, so I will show you exactly what I do. So I'm first going to go to the sketching tools. Um, you can use a iPad or you can use analog, it doesn't matter, you can grab a pencil. I'm just doing this on the iPad. If I can find the, there we go. Um, okay, so I am going to create, rather than doing like wavy lines like this, I actually wanna create where they kinda go up and then they go down and back up. Um, what I don't wanna do is make it so that it's perfectly centered every time like this. So I'm gonna kinda vary it where it's kind of at the edge and then maybe up like this. So they're a little bit imperfect. Um, and we'll go different directions. Like see how that one's coming up. It's not dipping out at the same space. Um, it's actually dipping back down a little bit after that and then come down and up and see it gets pretty skinny. So that is kind of what I'm gonna focus on here with my guide and what my quote, it's getting pretty skinny. My quote is going to, it's pretty, it's kind of a mouthful. Um, when it comes to actually a lettering piece, it's not too bad uh, when you say it, but then you'll notice like the longer your quotes get, the more involved your lettering pieces get. So this is a quote by Ashley Ford. It's going to say, I believe that when you write for yourself, you are writing for others. So I've got my guide here. I'm going to create a new layer and then I'm going to letter over the top of it. Um, and then I'm just gonna use what comes standard with the Procreate, uh, a brush called Nico Roll. This isn't usually under this Procreate Originals folder like I have. Um, I just have this brush set here because I don't use any of the other ones. So these are just the things that I go to sometimes. But I really like this brush, the Nico Roll, uh, because it kind of has this flat, if I make it larger, see it's flat and it kind of comes the natural direction as you move, which is just kind of fun. I also like the um, the texture that it creates. So I'm going to, when I do this, I am going to make sure that I create all of my letters that touch, then they are going to touch the top and they're gonna to touch the bottom. So I'm coming all the way down, that's pretty thick. I'm gonna make that skinnier. Okay, so I come down like this and then see my B comes up higher and then my E comes up higher and I'm gonna follow that line both directions the whole time. And what this is going to do is create that shape. And see how it's already really playful already, which is very fun. I believe that, I have to keep looking or I'm gonna write the wrong word, <laughs> I always do. Okay, so once that part's done, now the next line is where you have to really pay attention because what you could end up doing is um, running into this line since that's the guide and I didn't draw a line just underneath it. So I'm gonna create a, like an invisible spacing about the size of one of these strokes. So um, the next word, see I'm gonna bring it just underneath that and then I'm gonna maintain that spacing the entire time while following this line. So, see how that just creates just enough spacing. If I turn my guide off, you can really see what I'm talking about and that'll make sure that it really, um, oops, that it really keeps that form. And then you know, again, you can use any letters that you want to. They can be uppercase or lowercase. Just as long as you keep that guide going the whole time.
So this is an area that gets a little too thin. So I'm actually gonna go back to my layers guide and just pick that color real fast and then just kind of um, drop it a little bit. So that I have a little more room. And then I'll follow that same one that I just created so that I don't run into the new, the new one. Okay, and that's it. So when I turn this off, See how playful that is? And it's okay if some hangs over the other. Um, you can play with that and uh, as far as like adding little accents and whatnot, but then I'm just going to credit her for her awesome quote. And this one I'm not following because I don't. It's separate because it's the author name, so. It can be on its own. I might even drop it a little bit further. Maybe I'll put it, yeah, that looks better. And then you can always add little accents if you want to, like I can make this brush a little bit larger, um, select a new color, and then make kind of a oops, cascading rainbow of colors, if you will. I might even make a new layer and do this okay so like this and then a new color and I can always edit these if I need to but I'm just trying to throw them in real quick to show you something like that would be really fun so anyway get creative with it but that is how to do this guy so But anyway, yeah, get creative with it. That's how you do this. Um, I can't wait to see your guys' awesome, I don't know what you would call it, wavy, wavy words? <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of fun, promise. All these pieces always look real fun and quirky.